Hi there, my name is John Stevens. I'm pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text. We time to an item from the Dollar Tree, or the garage, the kid's room, the junk drawer, maybe the kitchen, all kinds of different places. I am so glad you are here and that you are a partner in this ministry just by being here. Uh, and, um, you know, I sometimes I say it at the end, sometimes I say it at the beginning, you're rocking it. Um, especially as the thing, as we go into this unknown where we're like, we got masks today, will we be open today, will we, all those things, this Delta variant, it, it's pandemic fatigue and um, God bless you for the work that you are doing. So uh, we're looking at the Revised Common Lectionary and I'm looking at Mark and that interesting dialogue between Jesus and the Phoenician women woman, I ha I'm probably, so, I'm rolling it off my head, I don't have it in front of me, but um, that, that um, folks from two different walks of life, if you will, um, ethnic backgrounds, um, all of that, and there's a point where um, it, you can tackle this in your sermon, if you wish, about um, where Jesus uh, um, there's this conversation. It's uh, racial undertones, and and um, it it's enough to make you uncomfortable. If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, uh, you might want to read up on uh, that. Using, I mean, there's the ra racial slur of why do I give the food to the dogs, and um, the, you know, for the Gentile, and all this back and forth. So we've got all of that. I'm taking that. I'm not even. I'm not putting it to the side, but I'm all. All of that says Jesus should not be talking to this woman. Jesus should not be helping this woman. There are things where there's lines that are drawn in the sand. And that's where, that's the springboard I'm going to use. Uh, painter's tape, masking tape, uh, chalk, something that you can draw a line with and it can come up easily. Or you don't even have to. So this idea is, is that Jesus crosses lines for you and me and for the world. You could talk about God, God in the flesh, uh, is G with G in and through and is Jesus Christ. And that, that ultimate crossing the line of, of becoming human. And there's that. But there's also that um, you and I, most of us, we are outside of the promise normally. Um, but we've been grafted into this tree. We've been grafted into the tree of life through Jesus Christ and because of Jesus. And that in this conversation that happens in the gospel lesson, as Jesus steps over the line to say to this woman, uh, your, daughter's, your daughter's been healed. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, she's, she's well, um, your faith. And this is, these are amazing things that happen. And so this, you could... Um, you could draw what the idea that I have is just putting a line of painter's tape, and then uh, as as you're talking, as you're telling the story, just pull the tape up just a little bit more, a little bit more, because Jesus not only crosses the line, but Jesus erases the lines as well. Jesus removes the lines. So that's the springboard I'm going for. I'm hoping this can be helpful in your own children's sermon. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for being part of this ministry and. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful and joy-filled week. All right, peace, and we will see you next week.